Feinstein says an unbelievable Dvar Torah that is a must for every Jew. Every Jew must have learned this right after Aleph Beis. It's a must. And we have to, re- this is something we should review every single day. It says in this week's parsha, Parsha Sva'era. It says in Parak Vav, Pasach Vav, who are on Moshe. So Rashi makes note that sometimes in the Torah it says Moshe first, and sometimes it says Aaron first. Says Rashi, why is that? Lomer Lasha Shkulme Ke'echa to tell us that Moshe and Aaron were equal. Answer Moshe and many others, I'm sure. How could you say that Moshe and Aaron were equal? I, Ramosha, brought us down the Mun. He brought us down the Torah. He spoke to Hashem Pel Peh. He was our great, the greatest leader we ever had. And Aaron might have been second to him, but he was in no way equal to Moshe. Ask Ramosha. Ask Ramosha. Says Ramosha. Because that's not true. Because we know that Hashem's system in life is he creates many types of people in many situations. Has anyone ever wondered why was was this person born with everything going for him seemingly and the next person not? Everyone has different life challenges. Some people were born with different a, a, a higher IQ, a lower IQ, different financial situations, different family makeup, different possibly disorders or something or whatever else is going on in their life. How could it be? Is that fair, says Ramosha? Says Ramosha, it is. Because in Hashem's world, which is the real world, it all depends on what you do with Hashem, with what Hashem gave you. Moshe did everything he could with what Hashem gave him, and so did our own. And therefore, in the next world and in the Torah, in the, they're going to be sitting equal, one next to another, says her Moshe. And the same thing with us. We Sometimes a person could start off with a lot less, but that's sometimes a favor. If they're able to overcome what Hashem gave them and do their best, then they're going to get a front seat right next to Moshe and our own. Oh, but that's a, something basic. But comes along and Ramosha says an unbelievable proof from the Gemara, famous Gemara in Baba Basra. The Gemara in Baba Basra and Daf Yud Amid Beis brings down the story of Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi, the Rabbi Yeshua, that he was in, he went unconscious of some sort. And when he came back to his father, said, What do you see up there? And he said, I saw Olam Hafakhu, he said, I saw an upside down world. Why? Says him, he says, El Yonim Lamata Vatachtonim Lamala. The people that on this world were high up, they were Chachuv. In the next world, they were low down. And the low down people were high up in the next world. And his father answered him back, Amar Lei, Olam Baris. You know, you saw a real world. Ask your Moshe Feinstein. I don't understand. Rabbi, Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi Yeshua didn't know that the, in this world it's fake, that you can have a guy that looks like he's good, but he's not, and he's really a fake, or he's not doing what he should. He didn't realize that in this world it might look like he's good, he's not, and there might be someone that no one cares about in the next world. He's really a tzaddik. Says your motion, no, that he knew. He knew that that's basics. What he was questioning when he said to his father that he sees an upside down world was that in the next world he saw people that were on the low end of Yiddishkeit and he knows they were. He saw how much they learned. He saw the things they did. He knew that they weren't as great as other people. He knew it for a fact. Their observance wasn't where it should have been or where as the same as other people. And still they were sitting right next to the big rabbis. Says his father, you got it wrong. You're judging someone according to what you see. So he might not have learned the same hours of the next guy. But do you know what he overcame to get up in the morning? Do you know what he overcame? The obstacles that he overcame in order to do shmiras or mitzvos? Do you know what kind of upbringing that guy had? And therefore you're seeing a real world. Because Hashem judges us on our work, on what we overcome. And let us take that with us every day. Teach it to all the little kids and all all the older kids and all the adults. Have a wonderful, wonderful Shabbos.